What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Hey, before we hop in today's video, be sure head on over to palmercompound.com. We did just release a very limited amount of merch. If you guys haven't been following along, I'm gonna be competing in the first round of the 2023 Supercross season at Anaheim 1. So I'm super excited. We will be running a very loose program, but I've been on the bike a lot, trying to get in there more, heading to California to ride Supercross this week. So, hey, be sure if you guys wanna support the Palmer Compound crew and the Supercross program, head on over to palmercompound.com. We got a pretty cool set of merch, so look forward to seeing you guys in the merch, and let's get into today's video. So, behind me, we have probably one of the coolest electric dirt bikes right now, and a lot of people are moving to the electric, going the Suron route, all that cool stuff, but this is actually, basically, a 110 that is electric. It is a 72 volt dirt bike, electric. It's got cool components, it's got the DNM shock, and I mean, other cool things. So it's pretty cool to see an actual electric 110, the same size, everything. And we're gonna give it a rip today, test it out. We just got it and pretty stoked on it. Honestly, I think it's probably maybe even faster than a 110. The 72 volt battery pack actually rips. So let's actually put this thing to the test. We don't have pit bike jumps, but we do have the super cross track and we're gonna basically hit some berms and maybe see if we can build some jumps or find some other little jumps. But let's check this thing out, compare it to the 110 and see what the, how this electric bike handles. It is honestly the same size as the 110s. It sits basically the same and I was thoroughly surprised. I rode it earlier and this thing rips. It's got three modes when you start it. Basically just like any electric dirt bike, you got one, two, and three with three being the fastest. And I would not doubt that this is not that much slower than a 110. It definitely has a crazy amount of bottom end because it is electric and it honestly looks pretty sick too. So I'm gonna put this thing next to the 110. Obviously we have my 110 and oh, we have Kyson's too. So see how this thing looks next to an actual 110. But let me know what you guys think. Everyone's been going electric riding the Surons. So hopefully pit bikes never go out of style, but it is pretty cool to see an electric rig like this that is very similar to a 110. And there's really, I mean, the rips honestly sits like a little higher than the 110. Yeah, this is gonna be a good little battle right here. 72 volts versus the Honda 110. Let me know what you guys are rocking with. If you guys are for the electric bike or still on the gas, OG Honda 110. What's crazy is this bike is bone stock and it literally has a DNM rear shock, which we run that same shock in the Honda 110s, and hey, this is basically right off the showroom floor. I do like these forks a lot better compared to the 110. This bike overall is just a little bit bigger, smoother riding, but the Honda 110 is very similar. It's honestly just personal preference. They're both super sick, so as soon as Kyson gets here, which I have no idea where he's at, we're gonna go break these things out and rip them and see which one kind of, see if the electric bike can even handle the motorbike. Yeah, you could do that on a pit bike. Do what? The world's longest freaking nose wheel. Oh yeah, you got those pretty dialed. This brakes, Honda needs to set their stuff up. Dude, that thing is so fast. So, pro taper bars. We're in stage three right there. Let's see what she's got. This thing's kind of nice because uh, 
you don't get someone to blip the throttle. So you gotta hit that button every time you wanna ride. Double. I'd say this thing's doing pretty good in this deep stuff. It just shows how big these things are. Those things are scary. Oh, boosted! Almost hit a bike that he left there. Oh, oh James Bob Stewart! It's honestly Dude, pretty it's sick. You see me almost Larry that thing? For a lot trick, this thing's doing pretty good for a deeper track. The only Look one at the ruts, bro. The one thing that I'm not a fan, I swear, like if I'm on the brake and on the gas, it's not moving. Yeah. I kept like hitting. I think the there, there's a sensor in these. Oh, it's the front one. I wonder if you can cut that like a sir on. Yeah, that was like the one thing, like hitting these dudes. Like it, these things don't feel like a 110. They actually like, hurt the plastic. Definitely faster than a sir on though, right? Oh, this thing rips. That thing rips. That thing's fun. It's crazy, like, actually, because, like, I've never rode an e-bike similar to a pit bike. And, like, this thing, like, when you feel like you're just going to lug out, like, the berms, it actually, like, pulls through. So it's kind of, it's pretty sick. I like it. That's what I was thinking. I'm a fan. I like the bike. <laughs> E-bikes have came a long way. It's different, but. This is the most comparable thing to a 110. The only one thing is, like, with how responsive it is on the power, it's like, it is smaller. And like the 110, you never like just immediately like throw it back. But like, this is like hard, like it wants to wheelie over with how much power it has. Hey, he's gonna, we're gonna try a different sprocket though. A little more top speed, a little less bottom end, cause these uh, electric yeah. bikes sure have a lot of bottom end. Dude, I don't know, I was tearing that thing up.